Curator is the same amount of 4, 6, Taunt, draw 1 in this deck. Uh, I mean, it draws 2. It does draw 2. We have the Murloc and a Dragon. I could even play like Loot Hoarders and make it a much more cycle heavy list. And play it like a combo deck. Like just find your pieces and then play another off kind of thing. I mean, actually, what Death Rattle one drops are there? Because, like, small time recruits is actually kind of nice because it draws three cards, right? You can play small time recruits with, like, Runic Egg, Mrs. Mixtures, that type of thing. This Overload Shaman looks suspiciously like. Suspiciously like Control Paladin and Kappa. Probably just more damage than Stonehill. Quest Mage is probably Insta Concede, yeah. I mean, if I get Tarim from this, we could maybe put push, push Pressure. But yeah, this is a really terrible matchup. If I get Tarim from this, we could push, push Damage. Dirty Rats would make this a winnable matchup. Like, maybe I should play Dirty Rats. I mean, we could just play a Control Paladin without Nazoth. Like, control Paladin without us off, and then literally just win through the Death Knight. And play a lot of reactive things, and like, Dirty Rats. What is the best class to play Dirty Rat in right now? Obviously it's good in Warrior always, but other than Warrior, what classes are good to play Dirty Rat in? Like, maybe Priest? Because Dirty Rat is, it does feel kind of good in the meta right now. Eye for an Eye could maybe do it. Yeah, Eye for an Eye could give us a chance, for sure. What if we play a meat wagon? What if we play a mid range Nazoth Paladin and we play like meat wagon and stuff? I'm just gonna go full face, I think. Or should I trade in here? Makes it easier for him to kill Psychotron, but no, I'm gonna go face. Like you can play like meat wagon and like devil saw egg, like that type of thing. I'm excited by that. Like you could play a you could play a Nazof buff paladin deck. Like instead of playing Murlocs, you play like Skellymancer, and you play like Devil Sereg, and you play like Meme Wagon. Do you want to play hand buffs in that deck though? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> Meme Wagon Quest Paladin Monkey S. Oh, I should have gone face down. I think I hear a part of this turn and then neck then choose over next turn. Like, it's gonna be eight damage, but I'd rather have eight damage plus the damage from this Sovereign Recruit. How do we submit decks for Wacky Wednesday? But yeah, you uh, post it on my subreddit. I'll put that link to that in chat right now. Smork is on. Buffed Meat Wagon can summon bigger things. Yeah, it can. It can. So a 7 attack Meat Wagon could potentially pull a Tyrion. Oh my god, I'm excited for the Meme Wagon deck, man. Man, I'm even going to change the title of my stream to Meme Wagon. Because that's what's happening next game. Perfect time to do it while we're at the ranked floor. Feels good, man. Oh god, I want to play my 8 drop. Do I have quality here? Yeah. You get very little tempo from Nazoth if you play Eggs and Meat Wagon unless you play Tyrion and Geronimo. Yeah, that's true. 
But Meat Wagon, man. <laughs> I mean, you could even play like Umber in that style of deck. Like, you, in fact, you probably would play Umber in that type of deck. Two in all idols. I want the weapon, really. But he created that. He could get his own Tyrion. Oh, God. This pushes more damage. Okay. This is just damage. I could just play this. Or should I play Tyrion? I gotta play this. And I'm even gonna go face with the Acolyte instead of training. Oh man, I've never pulled this off yet. I never used this before, the Four Horsemen. I've never used this before. <laughs> Man, the thing about this matchup is literally if we were playing Dirty Rat, we would literally just win. Like the card would just win us the game on its own. So crazy. Oh, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have <laughs> any of my... Uh... Divine Shield things in my deck. This is likely to stick. Beardo Bully OTK is cool. Is it is it actually good though? Is the Beardo list actually, like, good? Is this Porter Shed or just sounds similar? Yeah, this is Porter Shed. Um, the title of the song is always in the bottom right of the screen. Do I sacrifice the Doomsayer? So... No, it's just hero power. I just want my weapon. Savitz so has a pretty good win rate of Bidder and Bully. Oh, that's interesting. I need my second Consecrate. Like, I can like Consecrate, Consecrate, hit with weapon, pop him at one. And then we might just win. I mean, or he could not freeze my can or not kill it, and then I could literally just push forward with that. Oh. Consecrate would actually probably win me the game. Okay, he's pr very close to doing it now, so... I guess I just slammed Tyrion. To love you. Okay. 
So if he has Antonidas, he wins at this point, right? Unless he has to play Cabalas turn and he gets like three Power Blasts. He still wanna play... He get like three Power Blasts. Three Power Blasts? Okay, that's not Power Blast. <laughs> yes! So he must have got either two things, either like the secret he already, he already had up, or like expensive spells and he can't play them, and now he just win. <laughs> Yo, mate, I almost conceded this game on like turn two. I'm glad we stuck it out, man. I'm glad we stuck it out. Mm -hmm.